Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sunscreen review of a brand new sunscreen on the market by the brand Hello Sunday and it's called the Mineral One SPF 50. You guys know the drill. I will go over the features that you need to know, do a little bit of an ingredient analysis and then jump straight into the demo and finally share with you my final thoughts. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. This sunscreen was recently released on Cult Beauty, I would say around two weeks ago, but it's currently sold out. Hopefully it will come back in stock. It is SPF 50 and it's a 100% mineral sunscreen. It retails for 20 pounds for 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces. Not so affordable, but also not high-end. I would say this is like right in the middle. This sunscreen is made in Spain. It does claim to be suitable for sensitive skin and it is fragrance free. I could not tell anywhere on the packaging or in the description whether it's water resistant or not. So I'm just going to assume it's not. It does have a tint to it. Let me show you what it looks like. It's like this grayish light pinkish tint. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see what it looks like. This is reminding me a lot of the ultraviolet uh, sunscreen, the one that's SPF 30. It comes with a green cap. The tint is very similar to this. I personally like this tint over a peachy tint because I do find that this kind of a tint masks the white cast a little bit better than the peachy tint. In terms of active ingredients, this sunscreen uses two active ingredients and both of them are mineral. It does use zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So you do get a broad spectrum protection of UVA and UVB, also UVA1 and UVA2. The only thing that I didn't like about this is that it doesn't state the actual percentage of each ingredient. I tried to find it on some websites and I wasn't able to find it anywhere. It's not stated on the packaging nor on the squeezy tube itself. In terms of other notable ingredients, it does have some nice oils in here, but it's also got carnosine, which is a peptide that we see in a lot of sunscreens, actually, especially recently. I have been seeing it in a lot of new sunscreens. This peptide has been shown to have some antioxidant properties and it has been shown to have some wound healing activity as well. Also, there was a study to show that this peptide does offer a little bit of protection against infrared radiation. In terms of bad ingredients, I couldn't find a single ingredient that I would consider to be bad. So that is it for ingredients. Let's go ahead and jump into the demo. You'd be seeing me right now applying it to my skin. It does come out a little bit thick, like I would say like a moisturizing paste. When you apply it on the skin, it does spread nicely, but you can immediately see the white cast. To me, the white cast was very apparent and Maybe the tint in this did mask it a little bit, but still I am considered to be like fair to light skin tone and I can still see the white cast. Again, I did say at the beginning it's a little bit thick, so it does spread a little bit patchy on the skin. And I would say I had to try this a few times to really find, figure out a way to use it properly on my skin because every time I would try to blend it out, I would notice that it's getting patchier and patchier. It almost felt that every time I would try to blend out a patchy spot, it would move the part that has dried down with the part that I'm trying to blend. I hope I'm making sense, but eventually I figured out a way and that is basically to just apply it on the skin, try to blend it out quickly and whichever part is not blended, just leave it and let it set and then later on go in and pat those areas down with your fingers. This seemed to work for me quite well and this was the only way I could get it applied quite evenly on my skin. So as I mentioned, I did wait for it to set for around 20 minutes and I will say it doesn't dry down fully, but it definitely has a semi-matte finish. It's not shiny at all, but also it's not super drying. It's like right in the middle, which I personally do appreciate. However, it's the kind of sunscreen that if you were to touch your face without setting it with a powder, you would see your fingerprint on your face. 
and I personally don't really like that because I don't want to feel like I can't touch my face throughout the day. Then I went ahead and I applied makeup on top and I had to use a beauty blender. There is no way I could use a brush because I, as I already mentioned, it does kind of move around if you touch it. And with the brush, it definitely felt like I would move it around. So I just used a beauty blender and that seemed to work quite well. And I wanna say, the white cast definitely dimmed down after it settled, but I could still see it. I could still see a difference between my face and my neck. I would say this is not a sunscreen to wear on its own. At least I personally wouldn't be able to do so. I just don't like how it looks and I do feel that I need to set it. So the best way for me to use a sunscreen is under makeup and set my makeup with powder to prevent it from moving around. It does look quite nice under makeup. I would say if you have maybe very dry skin, this might dry you out, so you do need to moisturize well. But I think a lot of people with oily skin would enjoy this. Other than that, I didn't notice that it clung onto like my pores or into my pores. It didn't give me that polka dotty look, which I do appreciate and quite rare to see from a mineral sunscreen. I was able to apply the sunscreen around my eyes and it didn't sting them upon application and even throughout the day. I didn't notice any irritation whatsoever. And I also do want to mention that it didn't uh, affect the longevity of my makeup. My makeup just sat on my skin as it would with or without sunscreen. Let me share with you my final thoughts. I do think this is a sunscreen that cannot be worn on its own. Whether you are light, medium, or deep, it doesn't matter what your skin tone is, this sunscreen will leave a white cast. Unless you are comfortable with walking around with a white cast, this sunscreen wouldn't work for you on its own. However, I do wanna say that if you are somebody that has oily skin, you wear makeup on a daily basis, and you are looking for a mineral-only sunscreen, this might be good for you, especially considering the price. However, for me, it is not in my top five, I would say. I do appreciate it. I do think that it will suit certain skin types, which I just mentioned, and I will use mine up, but it will not be something I will repurchase. I definitely have more elegant mineral sunscreens in my collection. So in terms of white cast, this has a strong white cast, so it needs to be worn under makeup, in my opinion. But in terms of how it looks under makeup, it looks quite nice. I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy what it looks like under makeup, but you do need to set your face, otherwise it's going to feel like it can move each time you touch your face. That is it for today's review. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for my future content. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye guys.